hello guys welcome to today's video so in today's video i want to solve this error that a lot of people have been facing including me i used to face this error a lot until i find out exactly what is wrong so for example let me launch i want to delete some stuff on my database so i want to delete so this is one of my softwares so let's i want to delete something like maybe this data here so i go and delete so it says are you sure you want to delete so i say yes so this is some there is some error so let's check here so if you look at my console it's an incorrect number of binding supplied the current statement uses one and there are eight supplied so looking at my code you know i used to get confused a lot that sometimes i am dealing with a single column data only but the syntax is compatible to deal with several columns so you realize our execute callings is making multiple execute calls so with this one how do we solve it we need to solve it by storing the strings in the list so which one is the string? The string is our callings. So if I look at my table here, I said delete from inventory bill. Where inventory where bill is go to uh, question mark here. So delete. So this is my calling because I'm saying coffee name entry dot get. So this is my calling. So we're going to put this calling in the list. So sorry. In the list they will put one at the end as well in the list by using this straight bracket so we are putting our callings in that so let's run it again and see so we are trying to delete the ti u so it's same i sure want to delete records of bb W. yes so as you can see now my record has been deleted successfully let me delete this one again for you to see successfully so let me use my notepad to demonstrate so i don't get confused so for example let's say you are executing something so let's say Kessa dot execute so let's say select so select so let's say I'm selecting coffee ID or let's say coffee name so it can be whatever you are trying to select from the database maybe you are deleting so maybe you are saying delete from or delete this data from or maybe you are updating so update this data from so it depends on whatever you are doing in your sql or your sqlite database so when i'm trying to select coffee name in my case so select coffee name from maybe the name of my database is called inventory so whatever the name of a database is where from where so let's say where coffee id so maybe if this is my primary key so where coffee id is so we need to put a question mark there then we put some is around it so comma then our item so then our item will be in the list so then we close it so whatever our item is so maybe your callings maybe you are trying to call maybe your item and maybe let's say coffee 
maybe you've linked your coffee name to maybe a test variable maybe call coffee name or maybe coffee name maybe you are trying to call it from maybe coffee name entry or let's say maybe it depends on whatever your calling is so whichever your calling is you just have to put it inside the list for for it to work so that's all for today i hope this works for you and if it works for you please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for more of this or you can subscribe to my channel for more of solutions thank you